I realized this morning that I've been going to Origins for 22 years. I first went when I was 16. My mom took my brother and I and we drove out from Philly. And now I actually live in Columbus, Ohio, where Origins happens. So I literally just go five minutes to the convention center and there it is. Wild. <laughs> Weird. So yeah, this will be the first time in 22 years that I'm not running or playing games at Origins. Kind of strange, but uh, doing it for my self-care. Gonna try it out, uh, see if it works with my fibromyalgia and my pain. I'm gonna be on two panels, two queer panels. So queer is a three-sided die group. And uh, hanging out with friends from out of town and having some good conversations that I can hopefully capture for all of you. Bye, Zol. Bye for the weekend. <laughs> Bye, Andromeda. Where are you? Yep. I'm in my home, Mom. My Origins bag. I don't know, you know how people do their, their bag things. Got my, my tripod, my phone. Got some copies of A Cozy Den. You know, just in case, just in case, who knows. Uh, ah, pen. Some copies of, something is wrong here. For Origins? I'm excited for Origins! Wait, where are you going in Origins right now? Uh, I'm gonna get there, pick up my badge, and go straight to Games on Demand. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, a trend? Okay, so, a trend. so what's a trend in role-playing games you're excited about? A trend in role-playing games that I'm excited about is one that I hope to start myself, which is playing and knowing what the end is. Yeah, oh. Having a goal in mind when you start playing a game. So it's not it's not eliminating play to find out what's, what happens, it's play to find out how you get to this point. <gasps> I love that. It's kind of like at the heist and it's like it starts like, and then it's like two days late earlier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so you know you know what the, what the dramatic final conclusion is going to be. What is the path to that like? Because it provides a lot more focus and direction for groups that may not otherwise have it. Those are some of my favorite stories. Yeah. 
I love that. Wait, who are you? I'm Tracy Barnett. I'm also from here. And what's, what's, <laughs> what a game is really cool that we should find that's yours? Uh, Iron Net Accelerated is out through Encoded Designs. So you can buy it through Drive Through RPG or soon through Studio 2 Publishing. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Thanks, Tracy. You're welcome. Vlog style. We have, to, we have to hold it and be awkward. Absolutely. So, so what tabletop role playing game trend are you excited about, maybe? Uh, I'm definitely, there's definitely a subject I've been thinking about, like, um, that it seems like a lot of uh, creators that I know are really excited to make kaiju themed games recently. Like, honestly, I have heard like three or four different people in the last like month that have at least one or two kaiju games in the works. Um, also, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe this one too. Um, also, we love Godzilla. Godzilla's I mean, great. Godzilla and Mothra. Forever. Godzilla X Mothra, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, and so, uh, and specifically, 78% uh, of these games are kaiju romance as well, um, which I'm really excited about in like covering uh, romance, not only in terms of like uh, uh, queer romance, as in like Grandus and the Monstrous Body and the like, but also in terms of like uh, uh, differences in, in physicality as well, and um, some yeah. of the ways in which uh, people can express um, romance and physicality in not very non-normative ways, and that's exciting to me. And monstrous ways. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yes. I love that. Wait, what's the game people should find that's yours? Oh, that's mine? Uh, mine? Kitty? Me? Yeah. Kitty Staholsky? That's yours. From the internet? Um, From the yeah. internet. Uh, so, uh, a game that I, I'm really excited to see other people play uh, is one of mine called The Hydra Artist's Masterpiece, colon, Morning Acid Breath, uh, that is a cooperative painting game in which you play the many serpentine heads of a hydra uh, that need to paint uh, they need to paint a picture for the big monster gallery, but your creative visionary head has just been severed. What are you going to do? You have these two new heads. They don't know what's going on. Explain to them what you need to do <laughs> and paint a picture. Paint a picture. <laughs>
takes when I think of like what the first RPG should have been, like I don't think of like D and D or whatever. Like this is what it should have been. Like this is just the simplest thing that anybody could grasp, and it's just questions and answers and listening and talking to each other and collaboration. And like it's just kind of like what I love about RPGs and story games, like consolidated to its most pure, simple kind of form. And I just think there should be like a hundred different things, versions, like this should spawn a whole subset of games. Oh wow. And so, uh, yeah, that's it. That's a beautiful yeah. answer. It's, it's accessible and simple. Yeah. And who are you? Oh, sorry. I'm Tomer Tomes. And uh, do you have a game that, you, that people should play of yours? Oh, I don't know. I'm working on two games. So in the future, look at At Six Degrees. It'll be like a sensory tabletop LARP thing. And maybe a game called Human, which might be based off of this. But we'll see. But that sounds awesome. Thank you. games like I've loved that kind of thing since I was a kid so to see it coming back in RPGs is so good cool. and, uh, and who are you <laughs> I am Heather I work at Ninth Level Games I'm the COO there um, I write RPGs and design and develop tabletop games and just do all kinds of stuff thank you yeah. 